Alright, this is gonna be. We're gonna talk about the ending of the Amityville 2, the prequel to the Amityville Horror. Yeah, part 3 here. Alright, the. JBM 2005. Elm made. So uh, we left. Uh, this is where we had the priest talking to the black cap and he's just trying to convince In depth him. horror discussion review, in depth horror discussion review. Break it down scene by scene. Break it down scene by scene. So I free. So then the black cap's talking to him and he's just like. No oh, man, I can't I can't let him go. And the priest is like, I gotta take him to a church. And that black cap's like all 90s out and he's just like, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, so that he, he, that he can't help Sonny because he's possessed. And he's like, yeah, he's being controlled by a force. And they're like, yeah, it's called LSD. <laughs> and the priest asked the cop to bring him to like the church so he could defeat the demon on home field advantage, you know. And then this is where the priest freaking No, leaves. they alter Sonny's voice and he starts talking to oh, the priest. Oh, yeah, he does. They stole this straight from the exorcist. Demon, Hans Holzer, voice. I'm calling you out. Director, I'm calling you out. Diablo, Diablo or something. Whatever your name is. And he's just like, I will... I will take you out of this body. Whatever he says on it. And he's like, no, he's like, I'll make you leave this body. And it's like at night film. Of course, you can't even talk about the next scene. Wow, no, I'm saying no. That's Phil. I'm not the saying anything because you're a total douche. No, bag. this is when the priest goes to the library and crap. And, they, and she's sees about the witches in the Salem. They were freaking, uh, you know, exiled out and freaking uh, burned there. On yeah, the, the old lady. Holy, no, it was holy ground. Yeah, away, well, or, you're, uh, Indian you're saying it retarded. It's uh, at so night. It's the sad. filler of the priest. You know, the priest shows up at the house. And an old lady brings them to the library, the local in town library, or the or the town hall of Amityville, to yeah, read them the old records of the around, house. Yeah. She says it was built on an old burial ground that's been desecrated She's over like, years. She's like, I know things about that house. <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and the guy who brought the book, and the guy who who wrote the book was the one who brought the medium, like I was saying, in 1977, Ethel Myers. So they wrote that into the script about how she sensed an Indian presence. An Indian chief was there and was pissed off. So anyway, at the trial, they're already... No, he has like Mr. T as his defense lawyer. Oh yeah, it's like this black guy that got the exact same hair as Mr. T. It's funny. No, it's not funny. I was just mentioning it. Oh, I was laughing. Even though that was his defense lawyer in real life. Oh yeah, it's full of fake cops in this courtroom too. And then he's like, Your Honor, we plead into it because of demonic possession. And the judge says he won't accept the plea. Uh, he's like, get you guys butts up here. Did you even write any notes? Or... Yeah, Hot blood, blood over there. there. Wow. Alright, anyways. This kid takes like four shots and he's the man. He's cocky drunk. This kid's cocky drunk off camera. Apparently not true. I'm talking about El Mid, not JBM. Not true. Because JBM's crunk. Alright, so the black cat. No, then Ronnie passes out, of course, at court, in court because it's a movie. He passes and out. It's like priest drama, and like the bishop is pissed that one of the priests. Oh, yeah, they're and he's like, you're suspended. Other, and he's, and he's just like, like, you're suspended. He's like, no, we don't know if it's a day. Uh, he's like, you know, he really needs, you know, an exorcism. And they're like, no, we, we're pretty really disappointed that you went around our And then the head priest like, looks like a Muslim or something. And it's like two different vanilla priests. Vanilla priests. And then at the station, he's just like... He's not racist, he's just a realist. And he's like, save me in, in the blood... At the station, it's like save me in blood on his arm, sketched into his arm. Can you talk about the next thing for once, you fucking faggot? Alright, I got this. So then freaking the priest. No, shows. because you're boring, then I just take wow, it over. I'm boring. So then the priest should. No, it's. Oh, that's what I've written down. It's boring at this point, too. <laughs> But you're boring too, so it's like double boring. The movie's boring, oh, and Elman's so making it more boring. Let's do it. And then he's like, suddenly he's like bedridden in the hospital, and the cop and the priest come up with a plan to knock him out, and he he's takes no, like Sonny away. He's totally in withdrawn priest, from his LSD. Yeah, and then Darno, and then Darno was probably bored at this point, also. And he knocks the cop over the head, and you're like, oh my goodness, turns into an action movie. And Sonny bashes the priest, 
and he lights a fire because he's demonic and they haven't done that yet. Uh, the parts they haven't done a fire prop yet. In the and at the house, like it's like filler in the dark room, in the dark basement. Because that's where he led him to, back to the house. Oh, is this one of the capital right before no, the, the capital? It's because the spirit boxes. was draining out his body and he, was, he wanted him to go back to the house. So he returned to the house and the priest is trying to get rid of the spirits. And the wind's howling, it's like water trapped storm in the house. Oh yeah. And the other priest like rolls up. The other vanilla ice cream Oh yeah, cream and cone. you think it's the same priest because they look exactly alike. That's where this part's confusing. And you're like, like, okay. Oh my goodness. Alright, go on. I can't keep track. And then Sonny comes out of nowhere looking like Ed, like, from Fright Night. And he attacks the priest. And it's like half dark, like filler forever. Oh, you, you can't, can't see, see shit. Crap. And he asks spirit, and he like asks the spirit to reveal himself. And then Patricia, his sister who he killed, appears. Because, like, oh, the no, Myers she, fan 25 No, says, he, like, turns into her. Yeah, that's she what I'm saying. Appear. Like, it's retarding. Yeah, he, the devil uses different bodies as a host body. Kind of like how the devil used Michael My Myers as a host body, as the Myers fan 25 likes to say. Exactly. Don't let it go to your head. Don't let it go now. to your head, guys. And then he asks, like, I'm your daughter. Yeah, no, she appears and she's like, I am your daughter. And he's just like, she's like, you wanna fuck me, Phil? Like Scary Movie 3 when, when Charlie Sheen comes up on Michael Jackson look like and, exactly. and he's like, I am your daughter. That's exactly where they ripped it's it exactly off. Exactly the sound by how, the way exact same tones. And he turns back into Sonny Deform. No, this sword turns into like a 90s action where it blows up. Shut up, blows. you're already cutting to the end because you're fucking mentally wow. retarded tonight. Just okay. get the hell out of the room. Okay, okay. I'm serious this time. Me and you are done professionally. Wow. I'm leaving Mr. Creep Show and I and I'm joining Darnell. This Leaks. is only because he's off his meds. Okay, go on. Shut up. No, he turns back into Sonny. No, and he starts talking to the other priest. Because the other priest shows up. And he starts decaying and moaning, falling apart. And it's awesome 80s prop. This is when he oh, turns into like dope. a sloth dome. And it goes like all bloody and shit. It's dope. He's like an alien head. Then the house blows up. Of course, El Mady sk skips a head. Wow, like, I skipped two scenes. Scenes. two scenes. Two scenes. Give me a break. Don't worry, I'm here to do the work to write the notes so you can get all the information out. And don't worry, I'm here as filler. He's here to, for me to catch my breath, to be honest. I've never told him. I'm just filler. Have wow. you guys ever thought that? Think about it. There's filler in horror movies. That's why hot girls are in horror movies, because there's filler in horror movies. Alright, so. So, anyway. What do you think of the Then he turns overall? back. We didn't even talk about the ending. That's Shut up, you're like mentally retarded. Yeah, so say the ending so I don't have to, you fuckhead. <laughs> and he turns back into... And he gets and he gets a ride from the cop, no. And he turns back into... He gets his innocence back. It's so... Alright, I just need to shut up. He turns back to regular pretty boy actor, Sonny. He turns back into the kid from... Sonny DeFeo. He turns back into the kid from Sonny. And he drags him out. The other piece drags him out. He, and he gets into the cop car and he lives happily ever after in jail. He just turned 60 this year, coincidentally also. He was 23 and 74 when he committed the murders. Now he's 60 in 2011. And then it's like a shot, a POV shot going upstairs of the house. This is where the remake jacked off. The remake jacked a different, bunch of different elements from the original and this one, including this POV shot of it going all up the house. It's still... Do you see the director? No. John Carpenter, who shot Halloween in 1978, bragged about his POV shot, the opening shot of Michael Myers killing. But did you see this director brag about the ending? No, he just went and did, showed the whole shot in one take, all a POV shot going up the stairs, and it looked a hell of a lot better. But did you see him freaking brag about it? No, John Carpenter has the ego the size of Nate Dunning and John Cena combined. John Cena, yeah. That's just Darnell talking. That's the inner Darnell of me talking. He's That's the inner Darnell of you talking. 
but that's, that's how I truly feel. That's darn a week's channel. I was just making an, an channeling energy. through you and your kinetic energy. And then he, so anyway, and the priest asks for mercy. And the, they don't show what happens to him. It just shows that the house like went back to normal and it's like for sale and the credits roll. So anyway, my overall thoughts: six point nine, almost a seven. The filler, and I was waiting for the death scene. No, but I like the bloody scenes with the priests and everything. Those are iconic. I, I love think the scenes. Gonna show a lot the death more scenes. Crash. I was waiting for those to be dope, and then when it got to them, they and just went to black and, and filler. Just, yeah, the contrast of nothing. Is terrible. Of nothing. nothing. It's boring. Terrible. Boring. Stop repeating what I say. Shut your trap. I'm serious. It's Get boring. your own brain. You're not JBM. You're L Mid. If wow. I left Mr. Creepshow and I, you'd be nothing. Shut your trap. <laughs> Where is this coming from? I'm right. a realist. Well, I'm I thought it bed. was. Uh, I thought it was like. A, Where is this coming from? I thought it was like a seven. My doctor got me on the right Probably plan of six medication. Out of ten. There you go, cutting me off yeah, again. You don't take medication. You don't cut psychotic people off, you fat. Yeah. You want to see what happens? That's yeah. playing with fire. How would you take your meds? <laughs> I will right after this, you fucking fag. I had to make the review good. You never press stop, you douchebag. So shut your trap. Give your overall thoughts. I just threw out your overall have... thoughts. It yeah, was it was probably, it was probably it was crappy. Solid. It was crappy, uh, not that much props. It was too much filler of, like, anyway, you know, Anyway, the main character guy stuff. was psychotic. They just wrote it for as just demonic like possession. Just like Josh. I believe in spirits, but Ronald DeFeo, the actual Ronald DeFeo, is psychotic. Just like JBM. Shut up. Don't tell that to anyone. It's supposed to be a secret. Everybody knows because you're off your maids. <laughs>